Moving on to extremities. So for extremities for ART, uh, 25 questions are based off extremities. So upper, lower, or other, and we'll go through those sections. We're gonna start with the lower extremities. Here's just a basic list of some things, but I'm gonna go through them separately anyway. Uh, make sure you review toes. What's your central rate for toes? Do you have a tube angle for toes? For foot, we have that 10 to 15 degree angle for the AP. Why? Why do we angle for the AP? Because of the arch, right? Um, what does the oblique demonstrate? How do you know when you're in a good oblique position? That third, fourth, and fifth are no longer superimposed. Do you know the degree of oblique? 30 degrees. Um, for lateral foot, what could they ask you on lateral foot? Maybe anatomy. Um, they might ask you adaptations. So normally we do a medial lateral foot. When would you use a lateral medial? You do that maybe in the ER on the stretcher or your geriatric patient where you have to do a shoot through because they can't turn on their side, something like that. It might be a buzzword. Trauma, geriatric is gonna say, I'm adapting, I'm changing from the normal protocol. Weight bearing, what are we looking for? The lateral, we're looking for the lateral arch. Calcaneus, I want you to look at the wording on this. So make sure it says plantar dorsal and just make sure it's not um, reverse. It could be reverse if the patient's um, going the other direction. Um, but so watch for that. Watch for that axial term. Watch for the plantar dorsal. 40 degrees, make sure you know that tube angle. When would they break their calcaneus? Most often uh, trauma. They're jumping from a roof or a bridge or something. They're going to slam down on that heel. Ankle. What do we want to know about ankle? So AP, you want to make sure that buzzword is dorsiflexed for the toes. Bring the toes up. Know the two malleoli. So do you know your lateral and medial? Can you pick them out on a picture? Mortise. What do you want to see on a mortise oblique? Remember that mortise is not as oblique as the 45. It's that 15 to 20 internally. You're looking for open space all the way around for your mortise. So rotate the lower extremity as a whole, as a unit. Don't just rotate the foot. Um, do you know what makes the Mortise joint? Right, go back to that anatomy. The 45 degree oblique is further over and it's gonna be closed here where it's normally open. So that's a way to know if you've over rotated the Mortise, if your medial malleolus and talus are touching. Also, if the distal um, tibial fibula joint space here is open, you're most likely over-rotated your Mortise. It's more of a 45. Lateral ankle, really similar questions possibly to lateral foot. Do you know what to look for to determine if your lateral ankle is properly positioned? Where's the joint space? Normally we do medial lateral. Would you ever do lateral medial? Trauma, geriatric, something like that. The ankle stress views, um, those are in your textbook as well. The stress views are performed by a physician, radiologist, um, or an actual physician. They are going to hold and turn the ankle pronation, supernation. Um, they're going to stress it. They're going to stress the joint to take the images. Just remember, technologists do not restrain. Okay, only physicians restrain. So. If it's stress fuse, if it requires a restraint, it's going to be a physician. Tib fib, what could they ask you about tib fib? Um, well, maybe that you're going to get both joints. You're going to get knee and ankle, and you're going to do two views, 90 degree from each other, so um, AP and lateral, and you're going to include both joints. That's probably about, about it. For knee, uh, you know, I'm going to come back to knee. Stand by.